Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video I am once again taking a look at one of your designs that you have linked me in the comments section of one of my videos. And if you wish to see something of yours shown on this channel, just leave me the Steam Workshop link somewhere and I'll eventually get round to it. But for today we are looking at a fairly small combat rover called the CFG Bush Baby Mark 27 IFV14, which is this lovely thing right here. So this is a camouflaged rover with a custom gun on top that can be used as an anti-air gun or even just a anti-everything gun. It's been scripted up so you've got full mouse control left, right, up and down, and there is plenty of room inside to store some troops with a few seats on the outside for the brave souls who want to sit on them. Pressing F10 and finding the bush baby in the spawner menu, this thing is 4,658 small blocks using the decorative block number two, Wasteland and Sparks of the Future DLC packs. It features no mods, but it does have a few scripts there, of course, for the custom turret on top. So we'll give this a thumbs up. We can see it is made 100% out of heavy armor, so it can take quite a pummeling before going down. What we're going to do is come all the way around to the very front here, have a quick look around the outside, have a look at how the turret works, then we'll drive it around for a bit and see what happens. So at the very front here, this is what we get. We've got some digital camouflage skin, which goes all the way around this vehicle in the grey and green. We've got some good use of the window blocks covering up some important stuff such as our lights. We've got two spotlights over here and some wasteland spotlights just behind it. And then just up here we can peer inside our cockpit, which has got two seats, one for controlling the turret and one for driving it around. As we move around the side here we can see our lovely Wasteland DLC wheels, and we've got some good use of the letter block spelling out the CFG. Continuing along towards the back, we've got a few seats on the side there. Anyway, moving all the way around to the very back, we'll then get to our special ramp that opens up in two ways. We've got a lid that will open up like so, and we've got a ramp that will just pull you down and allow you to hop up and get inside. We've got some atmospheric thrusters on here just in case we get stuck going up a hill and need that extra oof get over the top. And we've got sticks, wasteland spotlights acting as brake lights. If you were to come down and underneath this thing before going up and above, this is what we get. We've got some blast or edge blocks that you can just about make out there which have been attached onto pistons. This is so you can lift the vehicle off the ground and do repair work underneath if it ever took damage. But I'll show you that a bit later when we go into the cockpit. Then going towards the front there, we've got a few sneaky buttons, but once again, we'll take a look at them once we come to it. Yes, coming up and above here, we can see our cockpit with our LCD screen right at the front there. We've got a doorway to get in and out with two buttons on both sides to close and open up the door. We are once again got our letter block spelling CFG. And then we've got this lovely thing right here. So this is our custom turret which has been put on the hinge and a rotor which has been scripted up to allow mouse control to shoot it around. We've got a lot of Gatling guns on here and we do have a camera in the dead middle. We also have an LCD screen with the artificial horizon on it which has been attached onto a piston which you can deploy out when you want to zoom all the way in and try and snipe an enemy from a distance. Just coming around the turret at a light so I have angled it up so I've been playing around with it. And coming to the back, there we are. Now for the back of the vehicle we can see a hinge which is where the ramp is going to open and close. That's a very brief look around the outside and it does look fantastic with how it's been set up and I do love the turret on top, it's just a fun little thing to shoot around at the enemy drones. Anyway, grabbing hold of my character, what we'll do is come all the way around to the very back of this vehicle and it is a fairly sizey vehicle when coming up to it. I'm going to come around to the back and press this button. Pressing the button, the lid will fold up and the ramp will fold down, and now we can jump inside, and after a short amount of time, it will automatically close up nice and neatly. We'll be left in the very grim dark in here, it's a very, very spooky light going on. Yes, putting my light on, this is what we get. We've got a bunch of buttons going around the side here, which are all for the doors. So doors have been separated through the lid and the ramp, so you can open up one if you want to and leave the other closed up. Yes, we've got a lovely sign here pointing to the cargo container right here to fill this thing up with uranium to power it. And we do have a programmable block down here which has got the time on it, but if we edit it, we've got our automatic LCD screen script on here, which is going to be very useful for the cockpit. Yes, looking around, we've got four chairs in here. Looking up, we've got some weather and time. Into the opposite side, there we go. Yes, just pressing this button, 
and coming outside that is the master button to open both at the same time without delay and once again it'll close up automatically. But now we can crouch down under here and what we're going to do is find those buttons we saw earlier which are towards the front because this is going to be to deploy our pistons. So we're looking up and all the way around like so we've got a button here where it says gecko jack system and then gecko jack system. So the green one is going to be to deploy it and out it comes and up the vehicle raises. This allows us just to walk underneath quite nicely and get our tools out and start doing work on here if we took damage or maybe we want to alter something with the vehicle or even just repair our wheels. So we've got enough clearance from our wheels on the ground to be able to attach new ones. So there we go. Just come all the way around to here and then press that. There we go and now the vehicle will drop down to the ground and they'll retract up inside it. So now what we can do is just come with my jetpack all the way up to here and we'll open up this doorway. So there we go. The front seat is going to be to drive this thing around and the other seat is going to be to control the gun. What I'm trying to do is just jam myself in here so you can get a better look all the way around. I don't think that's going to happen. So we'll just get into the rear seat. Take a look in first person view at the reactors going around the place. And bring up the HUD. So on tab number one we got a control for our script which we're not going to touch. But we do have a button to close up the door. There we go. Coming to tab number two this is going to be for the gun on top. So number one and number two is going to be to unlock our rotor and our hinge. With them turned on if we were to whoopsie try to turn the mouse around nothing is going to happen. But if we unlock them moving the mouse around. There we go. Number three and number four is for our camera setup. So going to number four to view the camera and pressing number three, it will extend it out. Now you might be thinking, why is this a thing? It seems a bit pointless, but if I was to retract that all the way in again by pressing number five, and then zoom all the way forwards, it gets very distorted while trying to snipe something. So pressing number three, it just makes it a lot easier to aim at a distance. And there we go, with all of them firing together. Coming into third person view and doing it once again. There we go, it does a lot at once. And we can retract that back in. And you get the idea. Number seven is simply to take control over the Gatling guns. And number eight is a depreciated button. Because there was a previous version, in fact there were a couple of previous versions. If I come into here and find the Bush Baby once again been some previous renditions of this which have featured rocket launches but this one does not it is galling guns only so yes we just go and lock them in place once again hop out of that seat and then we'll move across to the front seat there we go so once again we've got a bunch of controls number nine is going to be for the door and three four five six seven and eight is going to be for the wheels now i'm not going to touch them because i'm sure they've been set up correctly and i usually mess up the wheels quite badly which is why my land vehicles never seem to survive. But yes, number one is for our atmospheric thrusters at the back there on and off. And number two is if you want to have gyroscope control, which is very useful while going over a jump. Coming to tab number two, there we go. We now got some controls for our ramp at the back. Number one and number two is going to be to open up the lid and the ramp. And then we can press number eight and number nine to close them back up. Number five is the easy access, which is both of them together. So we can press that. There we go. And then we can press it again and close it up. Coming to tab number three, this is going to be for our cockpit lights. So coming to first person view, we are quite dark in here and pressing number one, which just lightened it up a little bit. On tab number four, we then got some controls for our reactors. So switching off group number one, and then we've got group number two. And then coming to tab number five, this is basically the same as the buttons below us, where number one and number two is going to be to lift us off the ground and to be able to repair underneath it. Number three is going to be for the light that is just behind our buttons. If I was to find the free camera, just drop ourselves down there we go there's our light to make it easy to see at night and of course we can drop ourselves all the way down and switch off the light number four is to reset the piston system velocity in case you messed around with it and need to reset it you've got a button to do it and number four is simply to add on a new wheel so if one took damage lift this thing off the ground and press it and away you go number six is front projector on and off to repair this thing up and number seven, eight, and nine is going to be to increase, decrease the wheel height. And number nine is to reset it. We have to come to tab number six. We've got even more controls over our wheels. I shouldn't need to mess around with that. So we'll just come back to tab number one. And it's time to drive this thing around. So undoing the parking brake and moving forwards. This is what we get without our thrusters. We are quite slow getting going. 
but it shouldn't be too much of a problem once we switch on our thrusters and get some good speed out of this. We've got our transcript on here so we don't have to worry about being a little bit top heavy due to the gun. So we're just going to keep going along here on the Mars like planet, take control of ourselves, keep ourselves nice and steady. And there we go. If we were to slow ourselves down just a little bit, that's probably not a good idea to do it while going over a lip. Go and slam on the brakes there. There we go, we're now going to try and turn around. And it's what you would expect from a fairly big vehicle using six wheels. There doesn't seem to be any kind of risk of tipping over while making a sharp corner, and we can go nice and fast with this. But can we jump? Yes, we can. Yeah, so that is basically it for the CFG Bush Baby Mark 27 IFV 14. Almost lost control while saying that. So there'll be a link to it in the description below. Oh, oh god. Oh, there goes the turret. Oh, that wasn't very good. But what I can do is now just give this to the space pirates and we can shoot it with another one. In fact, do I even need to give it to a space pirate? I can just paste in a brand new one. Just go and shove it up this hill, shall we? And I'll get into the turret and we'll see the damage the, the custom turret on top can deal. So opening up that, coming into the here, tab number two, undoing the brace, coming into the camera. And we're just going to aim ourselves all the way down. Where did it go? Just follow the trail of destruction. And now we're just going to blast into it. There we go. That is a nice lot of damage. Quite a lot of guns on here. You will need to make sure this is well fed with ammunition. But then again, that is the trade off with having a lot of guns. Be sparing or you're going to waste a lot. That is it for the Bush Baby. It's a very nice little vehicle to play around with. And I do love playing with the custom turret on top. So there'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around with it yourself. I recommend you do. And I'll be back with another video sometime soon. Bye bye.